Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, we <laughs> started and we didn't realize it. Okay, hello, everybody. We are too early today. We are like 10 seconds late. No, we are one hour earlier. Oh, yes, we're one hour earlier. Yes, we are one hour earlier than usual because I have to go and do something else. So, good afternoon, our friends. Welcome to our Sunday cooking class. Today, we are going to cook artichokes. Yes. If you followed us last Tuesday, we went, uh, I went to a vegetable garden in the south of Navarra with my friend Susana from To The Kite. And really, uh, we learned a lot about agriculture in Spain. And when I left, they gave me these two huge bags of vegetables. Uh, oh, get them. Like, it's just three of us. It's like way too much. No, but that was really nice of them. It was super nice. And I we mean, eat a lot of vegetables. We eat a lot of them. And my father-in-law is happy. My mom's happy. We've given Everybody's everybody happy. happy. So what we're going to be cooking today are the artichokes that they gave us. Yeah, and because they're in season now. It's right now the season of the artichokes here in Spain. Yes, guess what we had for lunch today at my mother's house. Artichokes. artichokes. What are we going to have for dinner? <laughs> artichokes. artichokes. So hola Susie, hola Linda, hola Maite. How are you all doing? So, so shall we go? Shall we start cooking? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm not very energetic today. Let's go. Who <laughs> has been a long weekend? Well, the thing is that... Here in Spain, uh, tomorrow it's a uh, holiday. Oh, let's say good morning. Merry Christmas. Hola, Cynthia. Today, tomorrow it's Constitution Day here in Spain, so it's holiday. And then on Wednesday, it's also holiday because it's the Assumption of Holy Mary. So, although we're not a Catholic country, we do follow a lot of all of these we holiday are, days. We are culturally, Catholic. culturally, but not, not by law. Not. Anyway, hola, Janet. Hola, Judith. How are you doing? Oh, James, sorry. So, okay. Do you want your apron, darling? Just to, just to make Just to look like I'm doing look something? Like you're doing something. Where's my apron? Your apron is here. Okay, so I'll get it. So, this is what we are going to be cooking today. As you can see, today it's going to be a little bit simple. It's just plain artichokes. We're going to need, we're, do, we're going to do two sauces. One, we're going to need some mayonnaise. Then we have olive oil. We have um, balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. And we have some salt. So we're going to do it. Well, one of the ways we're going to cook the artichokes is what we call the French way. Yeah, the okay, French way. A la francesa. And then what we're going to do, we already have them peeled. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, to be careful. Because yes, because we just peel them and in and are, no time, are, this is how they look. They yeah. oxidate. Yeah, it's about so five minutes. We in five them. minutes. We just clean them. Okay. So we're going to, the second way we're going to do is we're going to fry them. So... There, Shall we can make artichokes chips. Yes, that's what the second thing we're going to do, artichoke chips. Yeah. So, should we start with, okay, very important thing with artichokes. If you don't want to kill your hands, because they're going to get all, like, black, Where get some of gloves. I mean, if there's something you need, oops, wrong way, something you need to do when you work with artichokes, gloves. Gloves. Because your hands will be all black. Okay, as you see, they oxidate quite fast. And then you don't want that. So, okay. you are going to start cleaning the artichokes. You get the... The stem. Uh, well, you can eat it, but we are going to leave it out, right? Okay. And what I do is I... French, we say we are going to cook the, cook the artichokes French way. It means that we will leave them like this. Quiet. Whoops. I mean, the, these leaves are hard. You just start eating the bit of it, the, the end. And um, you just boil them in the pressure cooker. And we will use some sauces, right? So this is a bit black, so that's what you do. So you just take... You just take a little bit off. You don't need to so, take a whole lot off. Right? As you can see, I mean, they're still muddy because it was quite rainy when we collected them. We and them the thing bit. is that... As you can see, the top leaves, as we cut them on Tuesday, they're black. I would just take like two or three different layers of these, of the artichokes, okay? By the way, if you didn't see us on Tuesday, uh, well, as I know, cleans the artichokes. Let me tell you a little bit of the history of the artichokes. The artichokes here in Spain, they come from, um, from, from the, the Arabs. Arabs. In fact, artichoke is an Arab word, okay? That means the tongues of the earth, okay? So it's these little tongues coming out. 
That's where they come That's from. That's one word. The other one is alcalfil, which means little head. The, the little heart. Head. The little, little head. Alcalfil. Yeah. So it comes from those two different bases from the Arab word in Spain. Okay. Remember that in Spain, the Moors, the Muslims, they came in in 711 and they brought all of this great, amazing culture into Spain. One of them is the gastronomy. So we. A lot of the Spanish gastronomy has to do with that. Hola, Maider. ¿Cómo está Sara? Hola, Hola Sara. <laughs> so, uh... so, you see, the thing with this is that um, they were recollected on Tuesday, so that top is a bit like... Um, a little darker. Dark. You just... So, wait. Yes, take it off, right? Don't drive yourself crazy. Yeah. I mean, the thing with artichokes is that you cannot... Oh, you Baby artichoke, don't eat me, I'm an artichoke. <laughs> Look, even has an arm. Ah, my girl, I'm an artichoke. Madre mia, madre mia. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> be serious. For God's sake. Hola, Eddie. Hola, Pedro Angel. Hey, there was a lot from Chile. Oh, from Chile, I thought there was a one from Burgi. Well, he is in Burgi, but <laughs> he lives in Chile. Right. So, so you, anyway. Maybe, maybe you don't need to, eat to take so much off, right? But I do. This, that, that's what I was going to tell you, is that artichokes really need to be very well cleaned. It's one of the vegetables that, unfortunately, you have to throw quite a bit away. Although, sometimes what we do with all of these leftover leaves and everything, we make like a soup. So it's like, it's not beautiful, no, yeah, but, but you know, you can do some, more than a soup, what we do is like a f okay. vegetable broth for a rice yeah. or things like that. Well, in fact, it's, it's a very clean. The, the broth of the artichokes is very diuretic and it cleanses everything. I don't know if you can use it or not. Okay, uh, let's be clear. We do drink that. No, I drink when, it. I when we go on a diet. <laughs> because it's diuretic and it helps you clean your intestines and everything. So if you need to uh, clean your. I plus one artichoke. Uh, you just have to go ahead and... Oh, cuatro shares. Oh, sure, yes. I found it. Um, so that's what we do with the extra leaves that we're gonna... You never throw food away, so we do this liquid thingy, which is, well, not the best thing in the world. But well, see. but not, not with this. At least you throw away. Yeah. Well, okay. Yes, because okay. Right, so you see, uh, I have not cleaned this very much. But this one we are going to fry, so I'm going to really clean it. Okay, so this one, she is going to really go deep into it. In fact, it. when we say French artichokes, uh, we mean that, well, we don't worry so much about getting the... Because these leaves are hard, and you cannot eat them. In fact, in Navarra, we eat them like this, which Super. is the heart of the artichoke. Yes, you, it's very, very little. Also, if you go to the Mediterranean, you're going to find larger artichokes. The reason, it's the weather. In the Mediterranean, the artichokes, it's super hot and they bloom. Let's put it that way. They become quite big. But here in the north, as it's super cold. In fact, right now we've had a snow around us very, very close. Whoa, you're moving way too fast. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you see. Put it down there. Put it down. <laughs> Okay, so, eh, uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, you're driving me crazy. Come on, concentrate. Okay. Right. So, what we have done is um, peel it quite a lot. And, and then what you get is mainly the heart of the episode. Those were smaller, right? So, this one we are going to use for the chips. Mm hmm And we are going to slice it thinly. So you're just going to deep fry them like... Okay, what you get out of the... is up the heart of the little hairs. I don't like it, so I take it off. Because they're very nasty when you eat them, right? So you, the thing is that you have to cut them thinly. The problem with the artichokes is that you have to work really quickly because otherwise they get re very dark, right? So 
this is what we are going to do with this. Make some artichoke chips. Today, okay. um, what if we start with the boiling? So we. Right. Yes. Let's just start with the boiling. No. So that way we can keep on talking and doing the chips and the whole thing. So. Uh, for the French way, remember we're going to be cooking two ways. You just put nothing, like two fingers of water with a little bit of salt into it. And you clean them. Right? You clean a little bit. Well, again, these artichokes are coming direct from the garden, so they're half mad. They don't come from supermarket, which they're all normally quite clean. So you just have to give them an extra clean. Okay, so that is something to keep in mind okay so try to have them all clean up and perfect because you are going to eat them later right away okay okay so oh, sorry can you see me i mean can i okay, yes so what i do is i put them like this so because they generally stay but it doesn't matter if they don't stay what what we use is uh about two artichokes per person right that's it so what you do, it's you put the uh, heads of the artichoke going up, facing up. Yeah, cierra, cierra. Okay. Uh, so that way it cooks a little bit better. Okay? So that's what we are going to be doing now. That's going to take about 10 minutes on the pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, just boil them until you can stick a knife through it. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit longer. These small ones don't have like the, the hairs that we took away from the other, right? So let's see how we can work with this. You, I, you are a spinach today. Yeah, the thing is that with artichokes, uh, you have to work with Okay, so here what we have is sunflower oil. oil, not olive oil. Normally we use for everything olive oil, but not for the chips because it gives a lot of flavor to the artichokes and the artichokes are very subtle uh, vegetables so you, if you use uh, olive oil but it depends you just try it some people like to fry them with olive oil right so it's just a deep fry one minute well, well no, one oh, okay minute. a bit more than one minute so allow it to fry right there we go so we just um, fry it and you know what? What? Fran, I'm going to boil some. Uh, we've got like a hundred artichokes. We've, uh, I'm going to boil some artichokes and make uh, paella with artichokes tomorrow. For tomorrow? Okay, perfect. I, I mean, one of the pro the problems, one of the great things of living here in Nevada is that vegetables are all year round. We have super good quality vegetables, no matter the moment of the year. But when it's artichoke season, you eat artichokes every single day. When it's asparagus season, you eat asparagus every single day. So there's a hundred thousand ways you need to learn how to cook. So artichokes, the French way, uh, with vegetable sauce, um, paella, fried. Yeah. So you have to do... We can teach you, you how to make them a la Navarra, but you waste a lot of vegetables yes. with that. I mean, it's not... Uh, what, what are they saying? No, no, I'm just saying, hola, Mary, hola, Dimitri. So, yes, uh, it's one of the great, great things, is food. In fact, if you are interested in food, if you're a foodie person and you want to taste food here in Nevada, in the Basque Country, you can join one of my tours uh, for next year. It's already on our website, travelingsteps.es. We have a Basque staycation where we're going to rent a house or be in a small family-run hotel and stay there for a week and do day excursions up and down and we will really be in a Basque immersion where we'll be obviously depending on what moment of the year we are in tasting some of these amazing 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 veggies okay so that's one of the things we could do hola Sally let's see how our artichokes are doing they're doing fine but it's, Ooh, it sorry. takes a while to um, to cook it needs some minutes if you want to make chips, because they have to turn brown. Yeah, so, mm, that does smell so good. Do you want to leave them for a while? Okay, let's leave them for a while. I'll, shall we do the sauces for the other artichokes? As okay. we keep an eye on that. We so, on this. Right, so, for the French style artichokes, oh we, what we do is we normally have two different sauces. We have a vinaigrette, okay, that we do it with balsamic, 
And we also have one liqu liquefied, uh, how do you say? Mayonnaise. Okay, so here we have regular mayonnaise. Uh, don't, you drive, don't drive yourself crazy. Yeah, we buy it. We buy it. We buy it. <laughs> we are not very coordinated with the image with the uh, talking. Okay, so you just put add a little bit of water, and that's it. You just look liquid. Maybe that was too much. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Nah. So we like it very liquid. Woo! Okay. A bit more. So I would say like one fourth of uh, one third. One third. Okay. okay. One third of water. That's what you get. Sauce number one done. Let's check on the chips. Are they okay? The pressure cooker is already going. And we are going to boil this for like let's say six six minutes. Okay. So. The artichokes in the pressure cooker, they're gonna be six minutes. We have lower a little bit the temperature to three. And these ones, the chips, are already cooked. I wish you could smell them. Mm -hmm. I mean, our kids love them this way. Obviously, this is not the healthiest way to eat artichokes. Normally, what we do is, you know, if you have a little fancier dinner or something like that, we use this as decoration. And you just put a little bit of salt on top of it. You put a little bit of it, yeah. Okay. Here we go, the salt. salt. I didn't get rid of the blocks. That's... Um, Be well. careful with the olive. I mean the sunflower. The Apago that, el no, aceite. La, okay, we have other ones, yes. Yeah, we have some more, so you're going to fry them. These ones are going to be faster because the oil is quite, quite hot right now. Okay, there. so we have there, that's okay, well now what I do is dressing I number one, one. done, and let's go for dressing I'm number two. Place, my dear. You are in the perfect position. Okay, so we put a little bit of vinegar sauce, uh, vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Oh, we're going to do quite a lot, so because we're three eating. Then you put a little bit of salt. Well, the salt is easy. If you put too little... Yes, add it. And then... Olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Okay. From here? And from here, you put a little bit of olive oil. A little bit not. Well, no. You put... If I said one third, I was going to say, but is it one... One third of vinegar to two thirds of. Oh boy, well. ¿Qué pasa? Because you know, the is clean now. Claro. If you don't tilt it, it's gonna go. Well, I think that's enough. Okay. Just make it to taste. In fact, make it taste. Mm. Okay. Okay. And when you generally, it, it, uh, we mix it, but uh, it, it separates because vinegar and oil yeah. separate. So you just emulsionate it a little bit, and then you let it. You let it be, right? So that's what we are going to put here. So we have a couple of servings. We have that. Yeah, we have for that. For vinaigrette. And we have the manas in the other side, on the other side, right? So one, we got it. Two. So we have the two sauces. sauces. How's the chips going? How are the chips going? Going great. Chips number two are number two. almost done. No, they're done. They're done. Apagole. I'm yes. going to turn the other. Turn the. How is that going? Okay. Let me put this away. A little bit more of salt. Whoops, over there. Let me get you the salt. Here we go. Right, now let, let me just get rid of this. We can get the others going. Right. The thing is that uh, if uh, you, with the gloves you don't get so burned. Just try to get a little bit of the oil out. out right. 
and when you get... No les fan sal? No, put in... Sí, pero yeah. afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I do is I, I, I change the paper all the time. Right? Yeah, so it absorbs more. Uh... And then you put the salt. Okay, so then you go ahead and you put a little bit of salt. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, great. That looks nice. That looks nice, isn't it? So, uh, artichoke number one, done. Uh, Mary, yes, only uh, water in mayonnaise. That's all we put, okay? So that's exactly what we do. So look at those. They are so good. Let me... Oh, you're already eating them? Mm. Are they too hot? No. Do you want some wine? Yes. You want me to go get some I get, glasses? I get some glasses. Okay, I'll get the wine. So what wine are we drinking today? We are going to do... This one, the Chateau de Valeu. So the Saint Emilion, it's a French wine. The thing is that it was Lucas' birthday on the 30th. So this is the wine we drank. And this is a little bit of leftover. Super good. Côté de Valeu. Very, very good. This from 2012. It's a Grand Cru Classe. Great, amazing red wine that goes super well with um, artichokes. So, really, it's a very dark, very intense. I have to get rid of this because we need the place for okay. the artichokes. Sure. Yes, so, yes, right? Here we go. Well, look at the color. I mean, it is really almost burgundy. It's a very, very deep color. You're not going to toast with me? No. I'm angry with you today. I think we have a... Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just you've been moving me around. I know I move a lot. The leaves that you peel away, are you steaming them separately for use? No. no memory. Okay, so... On one hand, we have the peels that we are not today because we are we have way too many artichokes. But when you don't have too many, what we do is we boil them if you and, want, if you want, and make like liquid that is very good to as a vegetable broth. But you have to use it right away, it, or it's very good for it's, it's a bitter broth, but it's yeah. mainly a medicinal broth. Yeah, it's. It's very good after you eat all of this, you know. It's good for Christmas, Christmas if. Who you have to. You're so aware. I need to go to diet. Not, it's, not, it's not a good taste. That's what you eat. No, it's not the best thing ever. But it's good for dieting. Yeah. Anyway, hola Raquel. My friends, I know. Salud. Now. She's all happy. Super happy. Está buenísimo. Sí, está bueno. Very good wine. I don't know if I'm going to let you have the chips, huh? I don't have the chips. So as you can see... Yeah. Mm. No, let's see if they don't fall. They're very good. Okay. So you have the salt on top of them, fried, they're crispy. And then you have a husband who eats them all. No, I will. The thing is that... Oh! No, wait, this, this one looks perfect. Look at this. So, something that is very nice. When you have a... Um, Keep on talking. A nice... <laughs> You eat and I talk. You have a nice dinner or lunch where you you cut this, you make these chips, and they're very beautiful for decoration. You put them on a little bit of, for example, here you eat a steak with a piece of foie gras and crude foie gras on top, and you put a couple of these artichokes on top. Yeah. Beautiful, good. Yeah, or if you make a rice with artichokes, we we'll make a good team. <laughs> Sometimes they want to kill him, but only from time to time. I also want to kill him once in a while. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so there are so good. Chico, me estás comiendo todas. Hola, Carol. We're not going to save them for the kids, are we? Well, I don't know how. Well, they're not here. Mm. So good. Anyway, so the other artichokes, I think. The other artichokes, they have to open them, right? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Te comiste demasiado sal? Mm, no. ¿Quito? Mm. Okay. ¿Qué deserve it? I have an artichoke in the fridge. I'm going to make it your way. Yay! Mm. Okay. So, be careful. Here's the pressure cooker. I think one of the things you should never do to a pressure cooker is what we, every day we do. You have there all the steam. 
and we just let, run cold water through it. We will open it for them because uh, we, we can otherwise open it. it's, it's too long. So if you have to wait and wait. That means that the pressure cooker can be opened. Yeah, this is a no pressure cooker, but it works great. Yeah, it's Fischler and... Yeah, it lasts forever. Yeah. Okay. Okay, see, let's see how they are. Oops. Oops. Oh, la, la. Oh, oh mon la, dieu, la. look at that, babies. They are so good. They're okay. so fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get just a couple of them and we can... You see, if you put a if you put a knife through that, that will go through. That means they're cooked. So the thing is that if you have a pressure cooker, it cooks super super fast. If you don't, just takes well, longer to boil. But okay? it's, it's the same. But it's the same procedure. Procedure. It's the same thing, right? I think that uh, these were very very uh, uh, soft artichokes. Yeah. So yeah. So the way we eat them. Why? Right there. So let's bring a couple of glasses here. Because the way we eat them, or the way you... You can eat it. You show them how to eat them. Okay. So you either eat them with the mayonnaise or the vinaigrette. Or both. Or both mixed. What we do is you just put a little bit of the mayonnaise, the liquefied mayonnaise. And personally, I like mixing the two. I don't. I only put mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh, that's Susanna. Sorry for being so early because you're not late. We are early, but I have to go in no time. And we put both of them. And what we do, okay, so here, oh, oh. Ah. I burned myself. Wait, so let us start. You hold it. Okay, good. Oh, the thing is that everything's too hot. So you can put it here now. If you want. Okay. So what we have, it's. Okay, I'll, I'll put it, I'll, okay. I'll do it for you. Let's, can I, just the other way around? Okay. So look at Kiko. Oh, Fran. Fran, Fran. Am I close enough? Wait. Because I, you're, yeah, look at him. Looks so great. <laughs> now I can say, right, left, <laughs> talk louder. <laughs> okay, so how do you eat it? You get one leaf, you dip it with the two sauces and you just it, it the, the soft part, right? The, the soft rest part. you. These you have to throw away. Okay? And then you don't get one, you get a couple of them. If you're a friend, you eat a couple of them. Mm. It's good, huh? Mm. I guess that you have to use. Okay, maybe it's not the most it's not, delicate. <laughs> you have to eat it at home, right? It's, it's something to eat at home. Mm. Okay. Huh? Fran, I think it's enough. They know how to eat that. But they're so good. And then you eat five, and then you get burned, and then, <laughs> come on. Okay, okay, last one. And when, then what we do is we boil some eggs, and then we put it with the heart of the artichoke and the rest of the sauce, and then we mix it. But that's something we do at home, right? Yeah. And you don't need to, because that looks mm. not very stunning. The thing is that you need a little bit of protein as well. So, you might as well get both things. So, shall we show them the final results? Yeah. So we have, on one hand, one hand, the fried chips, chips. okay, super good. <laughs> and on the other hand, the French style uh, artichokes, chips, okay, that we eat with vinaigrette or mayonnaise sauce. And with that said, are you going to turn the camera around? I'm going to have to turn the camera around. <laughs> I get it. You see, you always make fun of me. Moving the gimbal and everything, but it's not that easy. Anyway, our friends, that's it. Hopefully you have learned how to cook artichokes with us. It's now the season. Yeah, if you've got any questions, just let us know. Yes. I want to stay on my feet, that's what I move. <laughs> I don't know, at least like that. Okay, Linda, it's the French way. Hey, Rabbi Noah, uh, he'll eat everything. Yes, I will. <laughs> yes, leave him for one minute. Everything is gone. Yeah, I eat way too much. <laughs> Anyway, our friends, thank you so, so much. Uh, as always, I will see you on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to do yet because there's a huge snowstorm around yeah. us. So what we have planned, maybe we have to cancel. Yeah. And we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen on Tuesday. Uh, what else? If you don't know, if you want to keep updated with everything we do, 
please send us a direct message with your email and I will send you emails with everything we do, okay? The cooking classes, the tour guides, our podcasts, the whole thing, okay? And so if you've got questions, you can also ask yes. him. So I will answer, but you can ask him. <laughs> okay. And what else? If you want to leave a tip with us, thank you very much. We have a tip yard in the feed, in the text of this video. Uh, if you cannot leave us a tip, the other way you can give us a hand is by sharing this video so more people can see it. Mm -hmm. So our friends, have a great Sunday. Have a great, great, great day. See you on Sunday. See you, me on Tuesday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Bye-bye.